for taking us to the lovely play, Mrs. Nanny. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Bunsen. You too, Beaker. I like the part where those seven little aliens brought the pretty girl back to life. Fozzie, it was the prince who brought her back to life. Yeah, and those weren't little aliens, Fozzie. They were dwarves. It was Snow White and the seven dwarves. Really? I thought they were related to E.T. Whew, I'm exhausted. I don't know about you kids, but I'm going to go take a little nap. Okay, Harry. That play sure was cool. I want to be an actor when I grow up. Me too. Oh, why wait till we grow up? We can be actors right now. What do you mean, Kermit? Easy. All we have to do is put on a play of our own. I know. Let's do Snow White. Good idea, Skeeter. Our play will be even better than the one we just saw. The first thing we have to do is choose who plays which part. And since I am the most beautiful, you want me to play Snow White, right? No way! What? I want to play Snow White. You can be the Wicked Queen. Moi? The Wicked Queen? Uh-huh. Piggy. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't know what got into me. There's a fair way to decide who gets to be Snow White. There is? Sure. We'll flip a coin. Here's the nickel, Beaker. You flip. Call it, Piggy. Uh, heads. No, no, tails. <laughs> tails. I won. Uh, I'm afraid not, Piggy. Beaker said heads. Piggy, you call Tails. I won fair and square. I'm going to be Snow White. And you're the Wicked Queen. <laughs> you should be the director, Kermit. And we can be the seven aliens. Bye! Sorry. She, I guess I better start directing, huh? Piggy, Skeeter, see if you guys can find some costumes. Oh, boy! Gonzo, Animal, you take care of props and sets. No sweat, Director, sir. No sweat. <laughs> Rolf, you're in charge of music. Out of sight. And, uh, Bunsen, you and Beaker handle the special effects. Okay, Kermit. Ooh, that's great, guys. Careful, Beaker. Ready, Scooter? Whoa! This is gonna be a perfect stage. There's a pop-up picture book here somewhere with a great castle in it. Here! <laughs> Thanks, animal. That was cool. <laughs> hey! You don't look like the Wicked Queen. You look more like... Let me help you with that makeup, Skeeter. Look, everybody! Skeeter would make a much better Wicked Queen. See? I should be Snow White. I should, really. La -da, la -da -da -da. Forget it, Piggy. I got the part, and I'm playing Snow White. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> That's Snow Biz. Uh, I guess it was really none of my biz anyway. Right, Bazooka Beak. <laughs> okay, faces, everyone. All right, uh, let's have the first set, animal. Raise the curtain. Um, that's the wrong set, animal. Oops. <laughs> Good building! <laughs> Quit goofing off, animal. Sorry. Let's have the music, Rolf. Okay, everyone, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, once upon a time, there was a big castle in which there lived a very wicked queen. Hold it! How do you expect me to play the queen with a castle? 
is a play, Piggy. You've got to use your imagination. Oh, okay. I'm imagining a fabulous castle fit for a queen as beautiful as you are. I can't stand it. Yoo-hoo, subjects! You may have three seconds to feast your eyes on moi. That's enough. I don't want to blind them with my radiant beauty. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the cutest one of all? I got something to tell you you're not gonna dig. Compared to Snow White, you're just a pig! Ah! You lying good-for-nothing mirror, you! <laughs> hey, take it easy, Piggy. This is just a play, you know. Gee, uh, I guess I got carried away with my part. It won't happen again, Kermie. Okay, let's go on. Hello, Royal Exterminators? I have a pest in the kingdom that I need to, uh... Get rid of my place in an hour? Good. Okay, animal. Change the set. Okay. <laughs> animal, it's upside down. Too late. <laughs> my name is Snow White. Tra -la, tra -la, and I'm the king of Snow White. Tra -la, tra -la. Hey, what happened to this place? Animal messed up the set, Skeeter. Just do the best you can. Okay. My name is Snow White. Tra la tra la. And I'm the cutest girl. Huh? Hold it, Beaker. This is the place. I know it's upside down, Beaker. But don't worry. I brought a ladder for just such a situation. I said I brought a ladder for just such a situation. Oh, I haven't quite got the hang of this prop man job yet. <laughs> Thank you. No sweat. Me, sir, hand me the hose. What are you guys doing? We're the Royal Exterminators. And we've come to get rid of a pest for the Wicked Queen. What are you talking about? We got a call from the Wicked Queen, telling us to get rid of her Snow White pest. Huh? That's no bug. That's me. I'm Snow White. You are? Please, don't hurt me. I'm not a pest. The Wicked Queen is just jealous of me because I'm cuter than she is. What? You're right, Beaker. Don't worry, Snow White. You run off and hide in the forest, and we'll tell the Wicked Queen that we debugged her castle. Oh, thank you. Watch out for that last cloud. Huh? Hey, you were great, Skeeter. Don't you think so, Piggy? Eh, she was fair. Of course, if I were playing Snow White, it would have been superb. Piggy! Um, okay, guys, get ready for the next scene. Animal, try to get the set right this time, okay? Okay. Oh, brother, now we need new trees. Me monk, me monk. Oh, boy. <laughs> Palm trees. Animal, you're not in the sea. Okay. And so, as Snow White wandered through the uh, uh, forest, she came upon a little house. Hey, where's the little house? Whoops. Thanks, Animal. And so, Snow White came upon a little house. Is anybody home?
I'm silly and me crazy. I'm Snow White, and I'm looking for a place to hide from the Wicked Queen. Well, you came to the right place, my little snowflake. Sit right down, and we will fix you up so no one will ever recognize you again. Get the shampoo, silly. Okay, we've got lots of silly shampoo. These rollers will give you lots of curls. Curls! Animal, why are you putting a rock in Snow White's hair? Rock and rollers! Whoa! A little of this chocolate sauce on Skeeter's face, and she'll look so ugly, I'll have to play Snow White. <laughs> you are, and all are ready for my special face cream. I'll rub it in and make you more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Something is wrong. I guess at the end of Act One. Ooh, this chocolate is sticky and gooey. Whoa! Would you mind telling Moi what you're doing? Make chocolate soda. Finish rehearsing our play. Come out of there, you soda jerk! Come on, Kermit. We're ready to start Act Two. Oh, okay. Bunsen, Beaker, hit the lights. Wait a minute. Where's the set? Come Look out! And so, after the seven dwarfs made Snow White even more beautiful than before... Don't worry, Snow White. You can stay here and hide out from the Wicked Queen. And in return for your kindness, I'll keep your shop clean and do manicures. Psst! Animal! Set change! <laughs> Skeeter playing Snow White! Why, she's not half as pretty as... Uh, Piggy? What? You're on. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my royal exterminators have taken care of Snow White by now. Rolf, knock it off! Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Now who's the cutest? Uh, uh, Snow White still lives in the forest glen and dwells with seven tiny men. The magic mirror tells you true. Compared to Snow White, you belong in a zoo. Uh-oh. <coughs> Gosh, she sure takes her acting seriously. This'll fix that cute little Snow White. Uh, Piggy? <gasps> uh, yes, Kermie? What's in the box? Oh, why, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Act three. <laughs> Later, at the Seven Dwarfs Beauty Salon, Snow White was sweeping up while the others were out to lunch. Hark! Someone is knocking at the door. Hark! Someone is knocking at the... <coughs> oh! <laughs> Hi there! You must be the lady who wanted a manicure. Um, actually, I... Come right in. You're lucky. I just had a cancellation. My, you certainly let your nails go. What? Oh, well. That's what we're here for. We'll fix you right up. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Oops. Sorry. I'm kind of new at this. You're my first manicure. 
don't worry about it. You won't be around to do your second. What did you say? Uh, I said you're going to get a big tip in just a second. I am? Why, thank you. Gee, whatever could this be? with the power to kiss beautiful princesses and wake them up, would you? Uh-uh. Oh, no. <laughs> She'll never wake up. I do know a little first aid, though. You do? Uh-huh. Try yeah. it. <laughs> Why, well, uh, um, I have never seen such a beautiful princess before. Her skin is soft as snow. Her eyes are, um, her eyes are, um, like two shimmering pearls. Her hair is like, like, uh, amber waves of grain. Far, far from mountains, majesty, Leaned 
closer to Snow White. Uh, I can't let Kermie kiss her. Um, uh, the big bad wolf came looking for Red Riding Hood. Huh? Any hey, of you guys know how to get to uh, Grandma's house? Uh -uh. Hi, what's he doing here? Excuse me, but I think you're in the wrong forest there. <laughs> That's not the way the story goes, P.E. It isn't? Oh, I'll try it again. And as the handsome prince uh, was about to kiss Snow White, um, the angry giant came down the beanstalk. Fee, fi, fo, fog. I smell the feet of a small green frog. What? Piggy, don't you even know the ending? The handsome prince has to kiss me so I can live happily ever after with him. Not if I can help it, toots. It's our play and we're gonna finish it. Nobody's kissing my prince but moi. Come on, Piggy. It's just a play. Yeah. Let us finish it. Vamos! It's all the yelling. Yelling? I didn't hear any yelling, Nanny. We were just practicing our play, Snow White. Yeah. Would you like to see it? Why, I'd love to. Snow White, huh? I always wanted to play the part of the Wicked Queen. You yeah. did? Uh-huh. She's my favorite, too, Nanny. That's exactly why I chose to play her. Huh? I knew it was the best part. Who'd want to play that boring Snow White when you could be the Wicked Queen? What? I'll go get my glasses and I'll be right back. Don't start without me. I want to play the Wicked Queen. Let me play. I want to be the Wicked Queen. Me too. Me too. Let me play the Wicked Queen. I'd be the best Wicked Queen of all because I'm the funniest. <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the funniest bear of all? Fozzie Bear, I never lie. When you tell jokes, I want to cry. See? Pretty funny, huh? Fozzie, you can't eat that. Sure I can. Haven't you ever heard of filet of soul? Waka waka waka! Fozzie! Sorry. There aren't any fish here, Kermit. Let's move to another spot. Oh, sure thing, Ralph. I'll start the motor. That spot over there looks good. Gee, the carpet looks much deeper here. Hey, Skeeter, I got one. Wow, I bet it's the biggest fish in the lake. I don't think so, Skeeter. Gee. <laughs> Yuck, why would a fish want to eat one of these? Are you kidding, Piggy? These are great. Phew, got to eat a worm. No, I didn't. These are cheese twists. No, they're not. These are the tea twists. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing this is my imagination. 
or I'd be a one sick weirdo. This is my latest and greatest invention, Beaker. A radar-controlled fish locator. All you have to do is turn it on, and it automatically finds the fish. Sure. Go ahead and try it out. Shark! Shark! Oh no! It's worse than a shark! It's... it's... Animal Jaws! Hey guys! Look what time it is! It's time for our favorite cartoon show, Funny Freddy! I'm going to be funny someday, just like Funny Freddy. <laughs> oh, that Funny Freddy, <laughs> he's too much. <laughs> he's pretending his TV show is messed up. <laughs> oh, Fuzzy, I think our TV really is messed up. It is? Oh, no. I can't live without Funny Freddy. He's my idol. Maybe it's the antenna. See if you can fix the picture, Beaker. Hurry up, Skeeter, or we'll miss the show. Nanny will know what to do. What's wrong with the TV, kids? The picture's all funny, Nanny. Can you fix it? Oh, no. I think it's really broken, kids. Oh. I'll call the repairman. He'll come out and fix it. This is horrible. Yeah, we've never missed Funny Freddy before. I know. I could pretend I'm Funny Freddy and you could watch the Funny Fozzie show instead of the Funny Freddy show and I'd be just as funny as Freddy. Funny! Funny. You're right. Nobody's as funny as Freddy. Hey, wait a minute, guys. Fozzie may have something there. I do? Uh, you mean you want me to pretend I'm Funny Freddy so you can watch the funny... Uh, not exactly, Fuzzy. I was thinking we could pretend to make our own TV shows. That's a great idea, Kermit. We can use our cardboard box as a TV. Great idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, but how will we make a screen? I know. There. How's that? Perfect, Skeeter. Hey, these paper cups will make great control knobs. And this will make a suitable antenna. Come on, let's try it out. Gosh, I thought this was a black and white cardboard TV. Hi, friends. Chef Rolf here for Doggy Time Dog Food. If you're a dog, and I know I am, you'll love Doggy Time. Yes, sir. It's a real meal in a can. I don't like commercials. Change the channel, Kermit. Uh, gee, how do you change the channel on this TV, Piggy? Simple. You pick it up and... Hey! Hey! Uh, you're on, Kermit. What? Me? Gee, um, I don't know what kind of program to do. Hold it. There's something wrong with the color. It's all green. There's nothing wrong with the color, Gonzo. I am green. Oh, that would explain it. Oh, boy. Me fish, me fish. Animal, no! Good color! Animal! Sorry. Phew. Go on, Kermit. Show us a TV program. Uh, I know. I got one. Good morning. Our big story today, Fuzzy Bear left the water running in the sink again, washing away half the city of Cleveland. However, Fuzzy was nice enough to loan the city his rubber ducky to help in the evacuation efforts. On the drier side, in San Francisco, famous inventor Bunsen Honeydew built the world's first skyscraper made of flour and water. Oh, I guess he didn't use enough water. And now for the sports report. Wait a minute. Uh, here's an important bulletin. 
we now take you live to our Pig on the Street reporter, Piggy. Hello, Kermit. I'm here on the street with Fozzie Bear. Rumor has it that Fozzie just told his first funny joke. Well, Fozzie, there are millions of viewers out there anxiously waiting to hear you finally say something funny. No problem. I just know your audience is going to love this joke. What do you get when you saw down an apple tree? Give up? You get apple saws. <laughs> get it? Whoa. Well, here you have it. Just another one of those wild rumors. Now, back to you, Kermit. Thanks, Piggy. And now it's time for Scooter's Computer Weather Report. Whoa! You're on, Scooter. I am? Oh, uh, here are the current temperatures. Let's see. Uh, 42, 71, and 19 below. This is boring! Get to the good part, Scooter. If there is a good part. Oh, sure there is. The real weather. Let's see. Uh, we have some rain in the northwest. Ah, ooh, ooh, and, uh, and six inches of snow in Wyoming. Ooh, and in Florida. Oh, no. What is it, Scooter? Wow, tell us. A hurricane. Help. 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 Stop it. Bad animal. No. Bad weather. Come on, Beaker. It's time for another commercial. Hello there, potential consumers. I am Bunsen Honeydew, child genius. For the first time on nursery-wide television, I'm offering you my latest invention. Come on, Beaker. It's all right. Friends, these are my new foolproof anti-nightmare pajamas. No matter what kind of bad dreams you ever have, these pajamas will protect you. You say you have nightmares about falling out of bed? No sweat. Just pull our patented pajama ripcord. <laughs> or perhaps your problem is scary ghost dreams. <laughs> no problem. Just blast him with the ghost-busting backpack. <laughs> That's right, friends. For only 25 cents, you can have your very own anti-nightmare PJs with my personal satisfaction guarantee that you'll freak like a rock. What's up, Beecher? The commercial's over. Now, uh, what show do you want to watch next? How about I, I Love Piggy? Yuck! I'd rather watch Laverne and Skeeter. No way! Weirdo trick! <laughs> oh, brother. Welcome to outer space, the final frontier, where we join the voyage of the Starship Second Prize on a mission to explore alien worlds and go where no weirdo has gone before. When will we reach Starbase One, Mr. Weirdo? Logically speaking, Captain Kirkmitt, we'll arrive in approximately two hours and 29.198826. Close enough, Mr. Weirdo. Mm. What's wrong, Dr. Dogbones? There's something screwy with your Vulcan brain, Mr. Weirdo. Maybe your batteries are low. I'll raise them. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Doctor. That was exhilarating. Quick, Captain Kirkman, there's something on the screen. <laughs> Not that screen, that screen. Oh no, it's a static ring on spaceship. Red alert, red alert. Remember, troopers, I don't care what happens to Mr. Weirdo, but we must take handsome Captain Kirkman prisoner. <laughs> Photon tomatoes away! Oh no! We've been hit, Captain Kirchman! Yes, photon tomatoes! 
Oh, no. Next, we'll be blasted with radium relish. What are our chances of defeating the static Klingon vessel, Mr. Weirdo? I'd say approximately one chance in 29,014,930,221.37482196. By the time he's done with that number, the show will be over. That's close enough. Ganjo, Luke and Han Solo aren't in the show. They aren't? What about Indiana Jones? No. Larry, Moe, and Curly? Uh-uh. Gee. Ha-ha! Their defensive screens are down! A few more photon tomatoes and Captain Kirkmit will be mine. Scooty, get us out of here! Accelerate to warp vector 9! I'm doing the best I can, Captain. What's wrong? Uh, I think Scooty put too much warp in the warp vector. There. The warp is off. Our only chance is to board that static Klingon vessel and trick them into surrendering, Captain. Oh, uh, right. To the transporter room. Beam us away, Scooty. And be sure you dial the right number this time. I'm sorry, you have reached a disconnected number. I know he dialed the wrong number. Better dial again, Scooty, and this time check the directory. Okay. That's better. Set your phaser to tickle, Mr. Weirdo, and we'll tickle those static Cleons into surrendering. Or we'll tickle blast you. And the chances of anyone resisting a tickle blast are precisely 337 point. Uh -huh. I mean three. That's all. Three. Thank you. Oh my! You're even better looking than I imagined. <sighs> it's these ears. Nobody can resist them. What? Let me get. Some people prefer my nose. Say, anybody want to hear a good space joke? Not now, buddy. Okay, then I think it's time for another commercial. Commercial! Commercial! <laughs> you can't do a commercial animal. Yeah, you can hardly talk. Me talk, me talk. What could you sell that we'd want to buy anyway? Ah, uh, dirt! What? Dirt farm! <laughs> Put on face! Better on clothes! <laughs> huh? Me forget! Water? Dirt? Make blood! <laughs> Sticky! Gooey! <laughs> hey! That stuff sounds pretty neat! How much does it cost? It's free! <laughs> hey! I didn't ask for any! Come on down, animal. Nanny will be mad if she sees this mess. Birth bomb! Oh, jeez. I think we ought to find another sponsor. What do you think? What should we watch now, guys? How about a comedy police show? I could tell jokes and arrest the audience for laughing without a license. <laughs> Forget it, Fozzie. No one would ever laugh at your jokes. Hey, guys, I want my Muppet TV. Huh? I want my Muppet TV. Oh, I get it. Rolf wants to do a music video. That's a terrific idea. Let's get our instruments. Good idea, Kermit. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Every single morning at the crack of dawn, 
They wake up and they have to turn the TV on. Well, they sit watching reruns on the screen all day. Their eyes were kind of funny and they're turning square. the Johnny Carson show? It comes on after your bedtime. Not today, it doesn't. <laughs> Piggy on the Johnny Carson show? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> Would you welcome Miss Piggy? Oh, thank you, thank you. It's so good to be on your show, Johnny. I don't believe this. Yeah, she did it. <laughs> Boyfriends, do you have any boyfriends? Well, um, sort of. Isn't that right, Kermit? What? Shh, you don't have to tell the world about it, Piggy. You want, want to do something for us? What? Um, well, actually, I thought you'd never ask. Promise not to throw tomatoes at me, okay? Wow, 
Carl. I don't believe it. Johnny Carson is laughing at me. Hey, guys, Johnny Carson laughed at me. I'm funny. I really am. Gee, Mr. Carson did laugh at Fozzie. Yeah, maybe he'd let me play piano on his show. I could do scientific experiments. I could be a stand-up weirdo. Yoo-hoo. Johnny. Mr. Carson. Hello. Hi, kids. The TV's fixed. You can watch all your favorite programs now. Uh, gee, thanks, Nanny. Thanks, Nanny. Come on, guys. Keep going. Nanny, another Turn show. Turn the box we'll back on. another one. Quickly. What on earth are you doing? We're making our own TV shows, Nanny. Yeah, we like our programs better than the real ones. What's on next? Let's watch Happy Dogs. Or what about Candid Computer? Wait, I got it. You are entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension of blue-nosed baboons. You are entering the Weirdo Zone. <laughs> Piano owner, 
That's you, Rolf. The Tiny Way Piano Company is having its annual Young Person Songwriting Contest and would like to invite you to enter. The winning song will be played on the radio. Gee, you're a great songwriter, Rolf. You win for sure. I guess I could give it a try. You let me know when you're done, Rolf, and I'll mail in your entry. Let's get our instruments so we can help, Rolf. Hmm. I wonder what kind of song I should write. I know. Make it a funny song about a hot dog gargling root beer who gets mustard on his guitar and... You're right. It would be better if he gargled the mustard and spilled the root beer on his guitar and... Hold your hand right there, Fuzzy, and whatever you do, don't let go. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hey, I know. I'll write a classical song. Classical? Well, I, uh, I... Go ahead, Rolf. We're ready to record. Okay. I'm Rolf the dog, and this is my song. a song with my piano out of tune. I know. Take your piano to an auto mechanic. They do great tune-ups. You really think they can tune my piano, Fozzie? Sure. Well, okay. I need a tune-up fast. You'll get where you want it. You sure? Let's get this thing on the list. Just one minor adjustment. Now! She's tuned up perfectly now. Was great, Rolf. Yeah, you'll win for sure. Um, I'll call Nanny and have her mail it in. Hold it. What are y'all looking so gloomy about? I thought you liked my song. Your song was great, Rolf. It's just that, well, we'd like to write songs like you, too. Yeah, you have more musical talent in your little toe than we have all put together. Speak for yourself, Piggy. Personally, my body has lots of musical talent. Whoa! See what I mean? <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? We've played music together lots of times. You're all good enough to write songs. No way! I'll prove it to you. Really? Maybe we could. I'll try if you try. Gee, uh, maybe we could write a song together, Piggy. Oh, I'd love to write a song with you, Kermy. And I could sing it like Piggy Parton. Oh, Kermy, we got to come up with a hit song for my big concert. Well, um, let's see. Oh, no, all of my fans are waiting and I don't have a song to sing. How about this one, Piggy? Out of the road, cause the cars that 
go by, they don't honk. I don't quite know how to tell you this, Kermit, but on a scale of one to ten, that song was minus twelve. It's horrible! Gee, I didn't think my song was that bad. Did you? I can't let Piggy go on stage without a good song to sing. There's only one thing to do. Us struggling songwriters can't afford taxis. I sure hope she's home. Well, if it isn't Comet Christopherson, what can I do for you? Uh, I, um, I was wondering if you could do me a teensy weensy favor, ma'am. You know, well, you see, I need help writing a song for my friend Piggy. Why, sure. I always was a sucker for little green guys. Come on in, Kermit. Thanks. You're on in 15 seconds, Piggy. Oh, dear. And I still don't have a song to sing. My career will be ruined. I've got it. I've got a song, Piggy. No way, Kermit. I'm not going out there and making a fool out of myself with one of your cornball songs. Nothing you could do would make me sing this song. The last time I said... Ah, oh, hey there, everybody. Give me that. I have a great little song here I'd like to sing for you. This better be good, Frog. Hit it, fellas. It's hard to be a pig out on the prairie. Yeehaw! It's tough to be a frog out on the plains. What? Well, someday this cute frog and I will marry. Yeehaw! This is Fuzzy Bear, and my song is called How to Tell Chicken Jokes Without Laying an Egg. <laughs> Hit it, guys. Waka, 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 Fuzzy Bear's gonna talk ya. Why did the chicken cross the road to try to find a ride? No, the chicken crossed the road, of course, to get to the other side. <laughs> When the weather's hot, they run to the beach and like to go for a dunk. Hey, don't you guys throw anything besides tomatoes? Sorry I asked. And that's the end of my funny song. Thank you very much. Pretty good, huh? Uh, sure, Fuzzy. That was, uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, uh, really, uh, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Um, who's next? Why don't you give it a try, Scooter? Gosh, uh, I've never written a song before. You've written a computer program, haven't you? Yeah, but what's that got to do with music? Lots of music is written on computer, Scooter. Yeah, you're right. We're recording. My name is Scooter, and this song is called, uh, uh Computer Scooter. Huh? Gee, something doesn't sound right. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with my computer. We'd better take a look. What are we looking for, Scooter? We're looking for the ram. There he is. <laughs> Not that kind of ram, Fozzie. R-A-M. Random Access Memory. Oh, it's where my music program is stored. I know that. Here it is. I don't see any music in here, 
Mr. Scooter? Only these electronic thingies. Yeah, hey, uh, like what's going on, man? Ooh, electronic monsters! Hey, don't get yourself all frazzled. We're just electronic musicians. I've been looking all over for you guys. Sorry, man, we've been taking five. <laughs> Bites, that is. You know, like in, uh, computer bites. Uh, I'm writing some electronic music, and I need your help. You got it, computer scooter. One, two, three, four.
we will. I still have this. A ping pong ball? No. It's my Bunsen honeydew self-propelled follow the bouncing ball ball. How does it work? Simple. Watch. Go on, Beaker. Sing. Amazing, Bunsen. And you too, Beaker. Thanks. Well, we've all written our songs. It's time to send in the tape and... Me song. Me song. Don't be silly, animal. You can't even talk right. How are you going to write a song? Not right. Drum. What? and wind it back on the cassette. I'll get the mending tape. Now we just have to untangle this mess. Yay! Hey, watch it! Jimmy. Then we wind it back into the cassette. There! Good as new. How did your song come out, Rolf? Great, Nanny. We all wrote songs. You did? Uh-huh. Here they are, Nanny. Thank you, Kermit. I'll mail this off right away. Oh, boy! I can't wait to see if we win! You're right, Beaker. A week is an awfully long time to wait. Tastes good! Hurry, Nanny! The winning song is going to be played any second! I think this is the station. And now it's time to play the winning song in the Tiny Way Piano Songwriters Contest. That's your song, Rolf. I won. Wow. song, kids. I'm very we proud of you. I want to write another song. Me too. Good song. 